the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Grand Bahama International Airport will be purchased at a cost of under $1 million by the airport authority. It was announced yesterday. Tourism and Aviation Minister Dionisio de Aguilar told Parliament that while the authority is purchasing the airport at a price of $1, the authority will also assume a portion of staff-related costs. These costs, he said, were not expected to exceed $1 million. However, Mr. de Aguilar told members of Parliament a new airport will cost between $40 million and $50 million to be constructed. Government will seek to enter into a public-private partnership to assist in the rebuilding effort. Environmentalists yesterday challenged the Minnis administration to make good on its pledge to bar oil drilling after the Bahamas Petroleum Company revealed it will seek to renew its four licenses. Activists said they plan to coerce the government as much as possible to reject the oil explorer's bid for a three-year renewal that would commit it to drilling another exploratory well within the Bahamas' territorial waters during that period. Besides calling on the Prime Minister and his cabinet to live up to their publicly professed opposition to oil exploration, the environmental groups argued it would be inappropriate to approve BPC's application until their judicial review action challenging the permits it received for its first Perseverance One exploratory well is ruled upon by the Supreme Court. Police have arrested a man who was suspected of exposing himself to a young girl while she was on her way to school yesterday morning. News of the incident made its rounds on social media yesterday after a male witness, who identified himself as Kent Bazard, released a five-minute long voice note detailing a disturbing account of what he saw transpire shortly after 8 o'clock yesterday morning. According to that voice note, a female student of Palmdale Primary was walking to school when she was approached by a man who exposed his genitalia to her. Dr. Bazard said she appeared to be seven years old and was left shaken after the experience. He said the man was trying to put his arm around the child who was trying to get away from him. Yesterday, police confirmed that a man was in custody in connection with that incident. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis revealed that a planned housing program geared towards young professionals will include certain exemptions such as waived customs duty on building materials and appliances and real property tax exemption for up to two years after the homes have been constructed. He gave notice in the House of Assembly last night that a resolution to develop an affordable upscale community for young people in the western area of New Providence will be debated at the next sitting of the House. The government is determined to make it a priority to make land more accessible and affordable affordable to young Bahamians, the resolution says. The proposed development will allow people between the ages of 18 and 45 to buy 95 by 100 feet lots for $50,000. The resolution says the government will put in place all the necessary infrastructure so that the lots will be worth $150,000 once the infrastructure is installed. The first area identified for the plan is 83 acres of land in the vicinity of the Bahamar property. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, President Joe Biden opened his first formal news conference today with a nod toward the improving picture on battling the coronavirus, but he was immediately pressed on thorny issues like immigration and voting rights, now testing his administration. Biden doubled his original goal on COVID-19 vaccines by pledging that the nation will administer 200 million doses by the end of the first 100 days in office. The administration had met Biden's initial goal of 100 million doses earlier this month before even his 60th day in office as the president pushes to defeat a pandemic that has killed more than 545,000 Americans and devastated the nation's economy. A team of international and Chinese scientists is poised to report on its joint venture for the origins of the coronavirus that sparked a pandemic after it was first detected in China over a year ago, with four theories being considered and one the clear frontrunner, according to the experts. The lengthy report is being published after months of wrangling, notably between the U.S. and Chinese governments, over how the outbreak emerged, while scientists try to keep their focus on a so far fruitless search for the origin of a microbe that has killed over 2.7 million people and stifled economies worldwide. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A ridge of high pressure remains across the area, maintaining stable conditions and moderate fresh breezes. There is a slight to moderate risk of rip currents, mainly along the eastern shorelines in the southeast Bahamas. For all areas, it'll be sunny and warm this afternoon, but a bit breezy in the southeast Bahamas, turning fair and mild tonight. Small craft caution is in effect for the southeast Bahamas. Winds east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots in the northwest Bahamas and 
central Bahamas. Easterly at 15 to 20 knots in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 2 to 4 feet over the ocean in the northwest and central Bahamas. 4 to 6 feet in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 88 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 70. The sun will set this afternoon at 721 and will rise tomorrow morning at 707. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.